Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, I've got a game here of some TDM on the map Stonehaven, which I wanted to get a nice short gameplay here, but I actually uh, do pretty well in this game. Got a bunch of kills, got a nice little uh, maniac streak going on here, which is probably one of my favorite kill streaks now. I know it kind of sucks for this map because it is so big, you really can't do anything with it, but um, I don't know, it's fun to use. Kind of, You'll see when I get it. You kind of have to uh, play strategically, which is what I like about it, that and the battle hind sucked, and then I think there's an attack... Ch uh, helicopter in here which is uh similar to the chopper gunner from previous call of duties but i have yet to put that thing on since probably won't get it since i play tdm all the time and then if i do get it actually probably won't get shot down because nobody runs freaking stinger missiles in this game which you think the battle hunt would be nice for because every time i get one it's like all right no one has stinger missiles and then they all just sit inside and it gets me no kills so that thing kind of sucks but Running the AA-12 here, which is probably becoming one of my favorite guns. I use the crap out of the Honey Badger, so that gun I kind of got bored of. I got the 1,000 kills with it already, or whatever the challenges were, so I was using this one. And then uh, I'm not really a fan of the submachine guns in this game. They have the uh, Vector, which looks like the UMP from uh, Modern Warfare 2, which is nice. And here's one of those very annoying IEDs, which I kind of hate. I probably should run Blast Shield just so I can run through those things, but... I got the overpowered perk set up here with Amplified, Dead Silence, Sit Rep, and then um, I think something else annoying too, I'm not sure what, but pretty much find the most annoying perk set up, and that is what I uh, have been running in this game. It's super overpowered, but since they're not going to fix it, I'm going to keep running it, and come on, computer. Dude, this freaking MacBook sucks for whatever reason. I have a cable loose and like the monitor of my computer here, so the screen just like kind of goes white on me and I have to squeeze the side of it to get it to fix it so probably should go fix that myself because I think if I take it to Apple to fix a two dollar cable it'll cost uh four hundred dollars in repairs since they kind of screw everybody which um if I get a new computer I don't think I'm gonna get a Mac I think we're just gonna get a nice uh Windows PC that has a crap load of processing power so I could uh edit videos faster um the, so they can get their three views or whatever but um I don't know I'm probably not gonna get a new computer right now but I was gonna uh Talk about some Black Friday stuff. So I saw these stories on uh, on Reddit here, which I'll talk about. I didn't go out for Black Friday at all, but I know a lot of people were saying like Walmart was crazy and stuff. Walmart and Target, which I really don't get because it's like Target and all that are Best Buy. Even they'll be like, oh, we got these deals on TVs. You can get like a 40-inch TV for like 300 bucks, 250 bucks, which is uh, pretty good. I don't even know what TVs cost now. I've been using the same one for a while. I've got a 36-inch and it's 720p, and that thing still uh, looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to keep running it and playing uh Playing video games on that thing, I guess 1080p would be nice, which, um, it's another reason I shouldn't get a new console, because I'd have to get a freaking HD capture card, none of my mics would work in the Xbox One. I wouldn't need a new TV, but probably get a nice little monitor and stuff, so I'm going to be looking at, like, a thousand bucks to upgrade all that crap, so it's like, yeah, I think I'm good, uh, good on the 360 for another year here, or whatever, and I'll probably end up getting a, uh, PS4 instead of the Xbox One, since the, uh, I don't know, I think they're actually updating the interface now, because those XMB, like, the cross-media bars freaking sucked on the PS3, and they never updated that thing, but now they're able to, since they didn't uh, allocate enough RAM to it in the PS3, so all the system memory kind of went to the game, and they couldn't put anything in the uh, OS. That's why you saw Xbox update their dashboard all the time, Sony just didn't have the uh, the memory to do it, since the uh, games took up all of it, since they told developers you have this much to work with, and they used all of it, so... Uh, Kind of screwed them there, but yeah, Black Friday. So here are some stories from Reddit, which, um, I don't know, I'm just going to go over the headlines for them, then I'll link them in the info. So uh, what do we got going on here? Black Friday 2013, Coles parking lot shooting. So police shoot su shoplifting suspect in Romeo Vale near Chicago, which um, I don't think you're allowed to actually have guns in Chicago if you're a citizen, but apparently the cops are allowed to uh, shoot unarmed citizens, which it probably still has the highest... Gun. I think it does have the highest like gun uh, violence there, even though they're illegal. So that shows how uh, how well gun control works in Chicago, at least. But yeah, so some guys shoplifted, which you think a lot of people are going to do and be doing for Black Friday, because you've got thousands of people in a store. So it's like, all right, you can kind of watch them with security cameras, but how are you going to catch everybody? So I don't know what this guy stole, but apparently it warranted the cops to uh, shoot and did he die? Let me see this thing. All right, where was that story? Oh no, they just shot him. They didn't kill him, but they shot him for stealing freaking, I don't know, stole a Snickers bar or something stupid, probably. He ends up getting shot over it, so, um, yeah, that's, uh, something smart there. But you'd think, um, not that you should steal, but you think Black Friday would be the day to do it. Just, uh, like I said, there's such a crowd. You're walking out of the doors with 300 people, so if that little beeper goes off, it's like, good luck, uh, catching the guy who's actually taking something, so. 
There's that, and then this freaking MacBook screen sucks balls. Here we go. No, there we go. Now it works. Okay, so there was that. Um, what else we got going on here? I don't see any other. I saw another Black Friday story, and uh, nothing too good. Fit mom gets temporarily in. Nobody cares if somebody gets banned on Facebook. Facebook sucks anyways. As much as uh, Google Plus integrated into YouTube is annoying, that would actually be nice if that thing took off, just so uh, people wouldn't use Facebook anymore. But the only thing I hate about that is how you have to, uh, or if you post a comment, it automatically post on your Google Plus because I have like a private one on my other channel which I kind of like want to like not have my YouTube comments post on that thing but whatever I know you can turn it off but I don't think I can link another Google Plus account to it so I can make a fake one which is uh kind of annoying so it's the only thing I'm really seeing here police arrest 13 um crazy people outside of a New Jersey Walmart so they were getting a little too uh, a little too crazy with the sales there for yeah, like I said with the TVs, they have all these TV sales and it's like they only have like 5 to 10 per store and you have a line of 500 people so you know the majority of them aren't going to get the freaking TV and yet they stand out there anyways and then fight with each other and they had some video on YouTube of like a Walmart which is crazy. It's like, dude, you would have had to pay me a freaking ridiculous ass amount of money to work there. They're paying their people 8 bucks. They might be paying them, I wouldn't even think they'd pay them double because they're cheap as hell. So say they do pay you double time, it's 16 bucks an hour to work what, like a... Eight hour shift of constantly dealing with freaking crazy people. That would kind of uh kind of be crazy there. It would suck pretty bad, but I don't I don't know. I don't think Walmart's really a job that you want. Even like kids who just turned sixteen who are trying to get a job, I wouldn't think you'd want to go to Walmart. I would probably I guess I don't know if I would. I, I was gonna say I probably wanna wanna work fast food over McDon or over McDonald's. It shows how smart I am. I just woke up, if you can't tell, it's like seven in the morning here, but um <laughs> What was I going to say? Yeah, probably work fast food over uh, freaking Walmart. I just blanked there. Also, I'll tell this story since um, I've got... How much time do I got left in this thing? Three minutes. All right, that's enough for this good story. So when we were um, 16, I think, six, yeah, 16, something like that, um, me and my... Well, my buddy worked at McDonald's. <laughs> Damn phone. And um, let me see what that was. Yeah, uh, just some email no one cares about. Okay, so my buddy worked at a McDonald's, and he's like, dude, work with me. It's cool, because we can just hang out together. If you work with somebody, it's all right. And I was like, yeah, and I ended up working there for three days and then just quitting. And I was like, dude, this place sucks balls. It's like, I've had other crappy jobs in retail and stuff, and it's like, McDonald's is actually so much more work for no money at all. And then their food is pretty gross, dude. Like, their grills and stuff, every, all the burgers are pre-cooked, so you just throw them on there and cook them for, like, two minutes. It's just, like, covered in freaking grease, and then... They, like, don't scrape that shit down or whatever. And they have those McRibs, which are freaking, like, pre-cooked ribs. It's kind of disgusting. Um, but, yeah, that place sucks. It's just, like... Oh, yeah, and another thing that was fucking disgusting for McDonald's. They had, like, the, um, where the kitchen was. And then they had a little back wall. And you get back there. And there's, like, sinks and stuff. They would let people smoke in there. Just stand behind the wall. So the smoke, cigarette smoke would get into the kitchen and stuff like that. So you had to smell it. And it's just, like, dude, that's freaking disgusting. That you could like smoke in a kitchen and that's still freaking allowed. And then I guess they have to hire people who are um like physically handicapped and stuff. So they had some guy in a wheelchair. They would just set him in the corner of the kitchen for like eight hours and just let him sit there so they could get their uh, tax breaks and stuff, which is pretty messed up. But yeah, I lasted three days there when I was 16. I was just like, dude, this place sucks balls. And like the owner, or not the owner, but the manager was like, all right, we're going to have you work night and stuff. And I was like, guy, I'm still in high school. I can't do that. And he was like, all right, well, you're going to come in at uh, 1 p.m. And I was like, no, I'm still in school. I can't do that. I'm in school till like, 2.30. And I wouldn't be able to make it here till like, 3 at the earliest. He's like, all right, you're in school till 2.30. So, uh, have you worked 2.30 to close? And I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to quit. Because even if I had normal hours, this place sucks, man. And I don't know what managers make at McDonald's, but that would suck pretty bad. Like, I know if you're at a retail store, like a Sears or something, I think managers can make around, like, 50 grand. So, um... Even though that would suck working in a mall when you're that old, at least you make some money. But I don't think McDonald's people, I think they make like $30,000 a year to be a manager there. So I definitely don't think it is uh, worth it to deal with that much crap for that little amount of money for that job. Um, probably may want to make less money and work somewhere that didn't suck like that. So um, yeah, that's my story of working at McDonald's for a uh, solid three days. Pretty, uh, pretty short job there, although I'm sure some people have worked there for one day and just decided to not come back and stuff like that. Which they still had to pay me for. They had to pay me to train me the one day. And, like, they make you watch these videos for, like, six hours. And I ended up falling asleep in a chair watching it. <laughs> and 
they still kind of paid me, so um, I had no clue how to make any of the food and stuff. I had to like have other people tell me, but it's not that dirty in there. It's just kind of, like I said, gross with the smoking and shit and how they don't clean the grills down. So there's like six inches of grease that they're cooking your burgers in and stuff like that. So um, yeah, don't eat at McDonald's is the moral of the story. And then for the uh, for this gameplay to get back to it, we get a 30 and 6 here final score with the... Uh, the AA-12, which is a nice gun, it's, I think it's like, reminds me of the AK-47, I think it's probably some type of variant, I, it is a variant of it, isn't it? I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm still kind of tired here, as you can tell, but gameplay is over, um, final score, I already said that, 30 and 6, so that's it guys, alright, bye.